So I want to react to the controversy surrounding the television series The Chosen. Uh, for one, because The Chosen is one of my favorite television series. And as a Christian, I definitely have an opinion about what's happening. So if you've never watched The Chosen, it portrays the life of Christ and his disciples. Um, it's probably one of the best, if not the best, pieces of Christian filmmaking or television series making that I've ever seen. Um, it has become hugely popular. It's impacted so many people and inspired so many people to go back to the Bible, to reread the Gospels, and to feel closer to Jesus Christ. Um, so it is unfortunate that this has happened and that the series is receiving some negative feedback. So let's take a look at what's happened. So the chosen defends pride flag spotted on set. Let the show speak for itself. This is from the Daily Wire and I'm gonna read just the top portion of this article. An official social media account for The Chosen defended the appearance of a rainbow-colored pride flag on the set of the crowd-funded show, claiming that the endorsement from at least one team member would not affect the theological rigor of the project. The Chosen, a multi-season series based on the life of Jesus Christ, has garnered national recognition in recent years, even as filmmaker Dallas Jenkins defends the decision to involve non-Christians as well as members of restorationist movements such as Mormons. A recent promotional video about season four of The Chosen included a brief shot in which a small pride flag can be seen on the set of the show as videographers capture a scene. So let's see what was captured. A couple of days ago, images of a gay pride flag on the set of the hit TV show The Chosen began to emerge on social media. The photos were from a season four promo video where the flag can be seen hanging from camera equipment and attached to the back of a man's vest. Where do they come from? They belong to crew member Daniel Fritz, a Steadicam operator and longtime show employee. Fritz is married to, to a homosexual man. Because he's openly gay and proud of it, his vest and equipment are adorned with the rainbow moniker, a common sight on the set of the Jesus flick. Some have called for whoever is bringing the pride flag on set to be fired, and if the show wanted to, they could. The show films in Texas. Uh, as far as I know, that's one of the locations. And according to Ross Law Group, Texas has been an at-will employment state. As an at-will state, employment in Texas may be terminated by an employer or an employee for a good reason, a bad reason, or simply no reason at all, absent a specific agreement to the contrary. Personally, I don't believe that this person should be fired, but I'll share what I think should happen in just a moment. So here is and action. So who would have thought Judas and Z doing uh, laundry together? And action. So oh. Who would have thought Judas and Z Okay, so we can see the pride flag is here attached to this cameraman's equipment. So before I share my thoughts on it, let's go ahead and see what Dallas Jenkins had to say about this controversy. He's the director. I'm not going to play this whole video. It's like 20 minutes long. I did listen to it. And I recommend that if you're a fan of the show, that, that you listen to what he has to say about this. Uh, but here are just a few minutes of his response. That we're clear if you're choosing to leave the show or to not support the show or stop watching the show or whatever. If you are, I just want to make sure you're clear and that we're clear on what you are upset about or boycotting the show about. It's not that we promoted a pride flag. It's not that I made some sort of statement any kind of political statement to show that the show did anything significant or because the content of the show slipped or compromised or you're upset uh, about something that we actively promoted or anything like that. That's not what happened. You're upset or boycotting the show because our policy, my policy, I'll take it on mine, my partner's policy, is that we just don't stop one of our crew members from having a three-inch pride flag on his own personal equipment. 
if that's enough for you to stop watching the show, that's fine. That's your choice. I just want us to be clear that that's what it is and not on these other issues or not on some of the headlines that you're seeing. So, look, I follow a couple of very important life verses, and uh, I follow it especially in the context of this show. One is Colossians 3.23. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord, not for men. So I'm doing this for the Lord, not for others. That's my primary audience. And then there's Psalm 34.5, my ultimate favorite verse. Those who look to him are blameless. They shall never be ashamed. I look to him. He's who I get my guidance from. I love you. I want you to love the show. But I don't answer to you. And I don't make decisions to avoid your criticism. I answer to God. I answer to my wife. I answer to those in authority in my own life. So, hope we can love the show together and continue to do this together, but if not, it's out of my control. Thanks for your time. I'm going to get back to making season four. And I hope you do love it and watch it. If not... Okay. All right. So that was his response. I'd be curious to know your thoughts on that, your feelings on that, if you feel like his response was fair or if you take issue with any of it. I, for one, do take issue with uh, some of what he said. Um, for one, he's, you know, he's obviously not going to denounce the fact that there was a pride flag on the set. It sounds like he's not going to uh, go forward and, and have some sort of policy where you know, there's no more pride flags around the set. Um, and that's unfortunate because he says he answers to God uh, but we know uh, that God would not condone a pride flag because the pride flag represents a sexual orientation, homosexuality, that God says is a sin. And so he, you know, Dallas Jenkins is saying, I answer to God, though he's not answering to that portion of God's word. Um, I get that he has people on the set that are non-Christians, that have varying beliefs, and people on the set who call themselves LGBTQ, and he wants to be inclusive of them and loving of them. I get that, um, but we don't have to have a pride flag in our space or on our shirts or wave them around in order to be inclusive and loving of LGBTQ people. Um, of course, Jesus Christ is the model of that. Jesus Christ is loving and inclusive of people, all people, but Jesus Christ is not inclusive and accepting of sin. And so you would hope that Dallas Jenkins would stand by uh, the model of Christ and biblical values, but rather he's choosing to stand by the pride flag. Um, he says that in the video that he doesn't have people who are on the set sign some sort of statement of faith. And I think that's great, fine. Like I, I think it's great that there are non-Christians and even atheists who are part of this show, that they're actually willing to create this show that tells a story that they themselves do not even believe in. I think that's great. And I would hope that some of those people would even be impacted by the message of Christ, that they would be touched by it and, you know, come into a relationship with Christ, we would hope. Um, so I think that's all great, but I think that to say that I'm not going to police people, uh, I'm not going to police my cast and crews, what they say and do on social media or what they say and do in their private workspace, that to me, I think, is something that sh ought to be reconsidered because there are many companies, even secular organizations, that have a set of values that they expect their employees to adhere to, or codes of conduct, or proper attire, or uniforms. I think it's perfectly reasonable and fair to say, these are our values, and we expect everyone to uh, act in accordance with these values, regardless of your personal religious beliefs. Uh, 
you know, you would hope that he would draw a line, that he wouldn't allow someone to be on set wearing a shirt with a satanic symbol. Uh, and in order to draw that line, you would need to have some sort of set of values. Uh, and we would hope that those values would come from the Bible. He is filming a show that is Bible-based. And furthermore, when he talks about, you know, I'm not going to police my cast and crew as to what they wear or do in their private workspaces, well, unfortunately, in this case, uh, we're seeing these images in promotional videos, which means that that went beyond the person's private workspace. So I think that that was uh, an error in judgment to allow those to allow the pride flag to show up in a promotional video, which then gets associated with the series. Um, so he should have made sure that that didn't show up, and I hope that going forward. He will be more careful with what shows up in the promotional materials. Um, the other issue that I have is that he says that he doesn't answer to his audience, that he answers to God. Of course, I agree that, that God comes first, that we do our work unto the Lord first and foremost. However, whenever you're an artist and you're creating art, you're doing that for an audience. And it's the audience that's paying your bills, basically. And so to say that he's not going to answer to his audience is a little bit offensive and alienates them, in, in fact. Um, the reality is, is that he's doing this work ultimately to impact an audience, to glorify God, and hopefully bring people closer to God in that. In fact, I've heard him say as much. I've heard other cast and crew members say that they want to glorify God in their work on The Chosen. And, and so even though it's not a church, he admits in this video that the work itself is ministerial. And so obviously how the audience feels should matter. And so it's unfortunate that he is choosing to honor and defend what the pride uh, flag represents, which is essentially homosexuality which the Bible states is a sin, out of some sort of fear that to denounce that would mean that he's not being inclusive of LGBTQ people. And of course, we can love and accept people without being accepting of the sin. Um, and so that's unfortunate. Um, I hope that going forward, maybe he will rethink some of these things. Um, I would say that, okay, so what, what about do we boycott the chosen? Uh, for me personally, you know, I'm boycotting Target, I'm boycotting Bud Light. Uh, I, I kind of think that this is a little bit different in the sense that with Target, you had them putting pride symbolism on children's clothing, which targets children. In this case, I don't, I don't think it's quite the same. Um, I also want to support the message of Christ, and that's what The Chosen is really about. Um, I would hope that the values and the biblical principles would also be reflected on the set of The Chosen and in their advertising, but ultimately I want to support the story of Christ. I, In fact, I hope and pray that they get to where they want to get. They've talked about wanting to even go up to eight seasons. They're in season four now. Uh, but we certainly want to see them get to the pinnacle of the story, which is the crucifixion of Christ. So I, for one, continue to pray for the cast and crew of The Chosen, for the filming of it, that everything goes smoothly. I pray that God gives them the strength and the energy to continue to do this work that glorifies God and that they, that they do stay true to the Bible, to Scripture, that they do stay true to their faith. And I would hope that they would want to model that on set as well. So let me know your thoughts. If you think that he was fair in his response, how you think we should be responding, whether we should be boycotting or not. Um, and if you appreciated this message, please like and subscribe. And otherwise, uh, God bless.